Hey guys, uh, Luke here, aka Stone Mosaic, and I'm here with another comic review, this time of Batman Dark Detective. Now, apparently this is um, supposed to be sort of sequel to a run that uh, Steve Englehart and Marshall Rogers did on a previous run of Batman back in the 1970s. I forget if it was on Batman or Detective Comics, but anyway, I read this and I don't know if things are clear in that version, but uh, in this one, um, uh, Silver St. Cloud, um, it's Batman's girlfriend, I guess, he, and uh, I, was, I was vaguely aware of her before, but apparently she broke up with him because of his lifestyle and she didn't want him to one day, you know, end up dead and, you know, um, have all the, uh, all the uh, trauma of being the significant other of a superhero, which interestingly enough is something that's been a bit of a debate um, right when I started following comics actually the whole Batwoman controversy uh, with whether or not she could get married because of the whole DC against marriage thing and that's that's its own um, thing altogether but anyway she is very, very much a character throughout this whole story um, now this uh, for those who maybe maybe have seen this image and aren't too familiar with where it came from well the famous joker running for governor uh storyline vote for me or i'll kill you is from this from the storyline and um although um not a whole lot of time is spent on joker actually running for governor it's just basically his excuse to get at uh to get at batman any which way he can uh, scarecrow and two-face are in there as well scarecrow um, trying out this new fear toxin that basically unlocks unconscious fears and uh, memories. And then uh, Two-Face um, basically, you know, trying to, you know, heal from his, his injuries has a special little project he's had, had a scientist working on for a little while and that gets revealed. I thought that was kind of interesting and maybe he deserved a couple, a couple issues to, to, uh, uh flesh out, but, um, I'm sure I'll read another Two-Face story eventually. Um, but the story overall was actually pretty good, and um, that was definitely what, what kept me reading, despite um, despite the art, which wasn't really my favorite. It seemed like there were a lot of lines, and it didn't seem... I don't know, it just didn't seem like it was my, my, kind, of, my, my kind of thing. But luckily, Steve Englehart's writing uh, kept things moving along in the final final act um had some pretty interesting little uh little things going on this batman and this uh, politician who um joker is uh, uh running against is a race to try and find a silver sink cloud of course she has to be the damsel in distress make of that what you will um but anyway i would give this probably a probably three out of five stars the art if it had been better would have definitely made a four out of five but Marshall Rogers, I'm not too sold on it. I know that he, I think he has a, um, um, a hardcover of all his Batman art in one volume. So that gives me hope that maybe his art would be a bit better back in the day. I know this was it's came out in the, the mid nineties and it was only collected within the last couple of years. Um, but it was still fairly good. And I guess if you're, if you read the, the um, initial run by Engelhard and Rogers, Go ahead and read this one too, I guess. Otherwise, I'd say it's probably skippable. Now, next review. Green Arrow, The Longbow Hunters by Mike Grell. Um, been interested in Green Arrow ever since I heard that he sort of had a gritty um, reboot from Mike Grell back in the late 80s and I've uh, tracked down not only Longbow Hunters, but the first trade of um, Grell on the Green Arrow series proper. And um, I'm going to be reading those, trying to get them all read and sort of digested in my mind. And hopefully I'll get the review out. Because, um, of course, I'm going to go to the Tampa Bay Comic Con. My girl's going to be there. Hopefully I'll like it. And I'll have to sign it. I can't imagine that I wouldn't like it. Because um, I, I actually liked... Uh, John Sable Freelance, Volume 1, which I reviewed previously. But here's hoping that uh, I like that one. Um, 
I like green arrow as much as I, as I like sable. So um, I think that's about it. Uh, thanks for watching this video. Make sure to leave any comments if you um, have any particular uh, thoughts on Englehart and Rogers and their take on on Batman. If you think that the that their original run in the seventies is necessary to understanding dark dark detective, I mean, you know, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. I haven't really seen uh, definitive. Um, a definitive answer right away, but um, until then, uh, I will leave you guys and uh, happy reading.